Hello. Yep, that's right, another tutorial. In this tutorial on how to use the cute game engine, I'm going to show you how to have your player attack the enemy back. So remember the enemy that we made in the previous tutorial? Well, you'll have a chance to have your player take some revenge. So we're going to make it so that when you click, your player attacks. That's basically it. This one should be pretty fun. Let's fire up the IDE and dive straight into the code. Hey, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're going to take revenge on that little spider that tried to body slam us. Uh, so the plan is we're going to uh, give our Minotaur a weapon and when you click, we're going to have the Minotaur attack. Um, okay, so weapons and other items go in what are called slots. You have various kinds of slots that can hold different things like you have armor slots, weapon slots, etc. Here we're just going to create a weapon slot. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'm going to include melee weapon slot and I'm going to do entity um, add slot we're going to create a melee weapon slot and you want to name your slot so name it anything we're going to call this weapon alrighty um, now we'll actually create the weapon we have a slot uh, for it now we want to create the actual weapon so this may seem kind of strange but it's actually a cool way to, to do it uh, there is a weapon called an animation attack and this weapon um, basically it plays uh, an animation of the entity and then it damages any enemy entities that are in an arc in front of the attacking entity. So I think it's best if I show you. But I hope I did explain that correctly. So the anima uh, to be redundant, I'll re-explain it. The animation attack weapon, uh, when it's fired, right, it will play uh, an animation, usually an attack animation, right? And then it will damage any entities that are in front of you. So that makes sense, okay. So let's include the uh, animation attack. Alrighty, so let's comment here, add a uh, weapon slot, and we're going to add uh, animation attack, I guess, so animation attack, I'm going to call animation weapon. Alrighty, so we got to tell it a few things here. Um, so uh, the animation that we want to play on the attack is... Uh, the attack animation because we gave our minotaur an attack animation um, and then now the second thing is basically uh, we want to give an icon to the weapon I believe no sound okay so it's sound I'm um, excuse me so the sound that we want to play so we tell it the animation that we want to play when when it's attacked and the sound that we want to play when it's attacked so I have a path to the sound that I have copied and pasted you can pick your own. There it is. Okay, now we want to, how much do we want to damage? Uh, I'm going to pick 10. Uh, the arc range, so the arc that we want to damage in front of the entity, I'm going to pick 60 degrees. And the arc angle, oh, I'm sorry, I have the arc range and arc angle flipped. So arc range is how far you want to damage, and arc angle is the angle. So 90 degrees. Alrighty. Uh, we've created that. Uh, so now we actually want to equip uh, equip the weapon in the slot. So we created the slot, we added the slot to the entity, we created the weapon, but we haven't equipped it. So equip weapon in slot. Weapons need to be equipped in slots in order to be used. So entity slot, um, we're going to get the weapon slot that we uh, created and attached to the entity up here. Um, okay, once we get that weapon slot, in that weapon slot we're going to equip the animation weapon. So I hope that makes sense. So the entity has a slot called weapon, which is a melee weapon slot. We created it up here. And in that slot we equip this animation weapon, right? When the animation weapon is used, it will play a certain animation, in this case the attack animation, 
Now, of course, the entity has to have that animation, and we know ours does because we created it. So it will play this animation, it will play this sound, it will damage this much, it will damage this distance and, and this angle. There we go. So we equipped it. Everything seems fine, but we are missing a critical piece here. We want to do this when, the, when a click happens, right? So first of all, we have to create a callback function for when the mouse is clicked. What do we want to do when the mouse is clicked? So let's see. So um, I hope you guys are familiar with lambdas, you know. Um, if you're not, I would just Google lambdas, but they're just anonymous functions. So I'm going to create mouse pressed callback. All right, we're going to capture the entity. And if you don't understand this, you know, don't worry too much about it. It's just a, an anonymous function that uh, decides what we want to do when uh, the mouse is clicked, okay? So the position, it's going to take the position and the uh, mouse button. Okay. Alrighty. So if left button was clicked, so if uh, button that was clicked is equal to let's see this QT mouse button left so if the left mouse button was clicked we want to use the weapon slot so we're gonna get that weapon slot again and we're gonna call its use function which will actually use it and remember we have an animation weapon in there so now we have that callback and we actually want to attach that callback to when when the mouse is pressed so we're going to we're going to use the uh, connect method this is built into cute uh, you can you know google this yourself this is cute stuff so it's not really my responsibility to explain it per se i will cover it briefly a little bit okay um so we want to connect so the game when when there's a uh, any type of event, event like mouse or keyboard events it em it emits a certain signal and it's this signal so it's it is the uh, mouse pressed okay so when the mouse is pressed we want to execute the function that we just defined up here all right so this might have been a little bit confusing if you don't understand what lambdas are, which is a C++ thing, not part of this game engine, and what the connect function does, which is a cute thing, not part of this game engine. So none of those are really you know, core parts of the engine, but I'll explain it. Lambda is an anonymous function, that's all. The connect connects signals and slots. So the, games, the game, when there's events like mouse events, like mouse press, it emits this mouse press signal. In response to that signal, we want to call this function. What do we want to do in that function? Is we want to check if it was the left button pressed, and if so, we want to use our entity's uh, weapon slot, which has an animation attack. So in, in, in effect, we're attacking when the mouse is clicked. So fingers crossed, I hope this all works out. Alrighty, let's see. Whoa, cool. <laughs> See that? Um, so as you can see here, whenever I click, he attacks. Now let's sneak up behind uh, this little rascal spider that tried to body slam us even though it's way tinier than us. Um, and let's see if we can destroy him. See, we're hitting him. There we go. <laughs> and uh, that's it. So um, I know this one was a bit longer and uh, a little involved because of the lambda, perhaps. Uh, but you know, you can always Google lambdas and you can Google the connect function. I hope the rest of it was easy. So in summary, we just created the weapon, we created a slot, and we used whatever was in that slot when the mouse was clicked. Hope you really enjoyed that. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the future tutorials. Bye-bye.